slingshot. Nice. And as you get to the fence, do a walk transition. And then into canner. Get a little taller in your upper body. Right his shoulders up and him a little round. And then you're doing that falling in thing that you do with link, I mean with nacho. So you gotta work on leg yielding a little bit to the outside of your circle. Yeah, there you go. And now take off your legs and transition to trot. Riding him round, riding him round. Rounder, good. And then let's do a little change of direction, come my way, and then make a right turn. Come to me. Yeah, and then get him back in a frame. And then just a tiny bit rounder. And then you're gonna sit and collect your trot and half steps into canter. Good girl. You just lost a little forward momo uh, momentum, right? And now take off your leg, melt your body, and transition down, adding leg to keep trotting. And then as soon as you pass the gate, break down to the walk. Shorten up your reins. And then as soon as we pass the sun here, because we can't see you in the sun, back into your canner from the walk. Nice job. And then go a little medium in the canner. So you're gonna ride a little bit more actively. Yep. Balancing them on the outside rein just a tiny bit more and then melt your body without breaking and try to collect. So it's more thigh, more leg, softer butt. Yep. Lifting up his shoulders, lifting up his shoulders and putting his weight on his hind end. So you're lifting him up and back. And then try not to let your leg clash with your thigh and your seat. Good job. Now release everything, soften your body and trot. And now let him do a little stretchy trot. So we want him lower and deeper. So you're gonna feed the reins to him. Ask him to stretch down as you're doing that. So you want to keep some contact, right? And then as you're successful, you give them a little bit more and you give them a little bit more and you give them a little bit more. Good job. And walk. Nice. Give them a pat. 